What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day, because I'm not. Because my computer uh, chose the perfect time, which actually was pretty inconvenient for me, to do that stupid thing where it like basically can't handle any of the audio that's going through it and on the recording it starts crackling. And then also for some reason I had my mic way too loud, so it was literally just you couldn't hear a thing. But anyway, we'll just get straight into it because I'm quite annoyed. Basically, this is just a, a classic West Coast beat. Uh, G-Funk kind of beat and what I really wanted to show you guys is this bass sound because I think I turned a pretty standard boring bass sound into something that's got a bit of like character it does its own thing but first of all I'll talk you through the rest of the beat so what I got here is I started off with literally just some chords and if you've watched any other video of mine on Logic you'll, you'll definitely know that I can't play chords and that I love to use chord triggers specifically minus seven nine so uh, that basically just sounds like, oh, that's a nice sound, isn't it? Basically I played A, D, F, E, like that. And what I did on uh, Alchemy, the sampler synth thing, was turn the release all the way down and also uh, like took off any reverb and stuff so that you get a nice swell. And then when it, um, when it changes note, it immediately kind of cuts back. So it sounds like this. like that and gives you a bit of a break uh, then classic kind of thing that I do obviously just put in strings I'm sure most people do this to fill this out a bit and obviously we're playing an A so this is just A and also an E because no yeah and then that obviously loops back to be this like that so it's A and E they seem to like work well together uh, and then I put in this kind of cool sound that I thought sounded cool. Again, to beef it up again, I put in some bells because I quite like bells. Like that. And then obviously, uh, well not obviously because you haven't seen this before. Well, it's pretty obvious for me because this is the second time that I've done it. I've put in a lot of horns and strings to basically uh, do a nice transition between each four bars and make it less boring. This is just playing a simple, simple uh, G to E um, riff, if you will. So yeah, I quite like that. Uh, that is actually, and then I've got uh, these quarter notes basically just playing some kind of stupid, well it's not stupid, but it, it's just a thing that I basically played in. And then that, hopefully, can we catch the loop? Yeah, and then the bells go again. That's literally all of the melody that I've got going, and I'll get into the bass after, because that's, I think, the most interesting part. For the drums, I chose to keep it simple up here, but then make it less... I mean, it's still quite simple, but it makes it a bit more interesting down here. So I've just got this very, very simple pattern going. So really nothing very hard. And then because that sounds ridiculously boring, I chose to um, put in a few of these extra symbols and stuff, basically uh, just on various different, see it's all lined up with like that's on the snare, that's kind of on the kick-ish. Um, but I chose to line it up so it basically sounds a bit more complicated than it actually is. Like that with everything like the chords and also what would it be the bells and these I think it sounds quite solid right now and then I've also got this shaker to basically speed it up if it needs okay that didn't work see it just it just flows gets everything a bit it just makes everything sound a bit faster than it actually is Oh yeah, then I've got the easy classic. Like that panned into your left ear if you're listening on speakers or headphones. So I think we're getting a nice, uh, 
basically it's all quite flowing and nice but then the real thing i wanted to show you guys was this bass i actually think this is a really cool bass sound i haven't actually made it i've just kind of changed personalized it. i've personalized it basically so this is what it sounds like it is literally just the first bass sound on retro since anyone who has logic will has it and i've only used stock plugins so if you want to take a screenshot of any of these things then that's fine of course it's fine <laughs> can't do anything about it i've kept their adsr really short so that it just turns the note on and off like that there's there's no delay, no, no, there's no like swell to it. There's no like release to it. Uh, I've put the glide up 52 milliseconds, but anything kind of from 40 to 80 is fine. And then on the settings, this is quite important. Uh, the most important thing is obviously you put it on legato so that when you get the glide, you can get the glide and it won't play a chord if you put it on like poly or something here it plays a chord like that and we don't want that for a bass other thing that you can do if you really want to like me uh i put one octave on the transpose thing so i can get like bass slides like like that which i think sound quite cool but if you don't like that kind of stuff then don't put it in it's totally up to you uh so that's everything on the actual synth th <clears throat> that's everything on the actual synthesizer next thing i got was a fuzz wah plug in the only plug the only preset that i think actually sounds good is automatic bass automatic too i don't know why i don't know what it does but basically just makes it wah e more wah to it uh, then to do that because that made it kind of lose some of the bass frequencies i put a humongous boost on the uh, lows and then also rolled off a few of the tops and did a resonance flick at around 2k so that you kind of get that solid bass but then you can see here obviously that you bring back in still some of that definition there next important thing i thought actually we don't need chorus because i didn't even put that on next thing is i thought it would be cool to have it in both ears and i did that by you get sample delay and just put 20 milliseconds of sample delay on and what that does is basically if you're listening on headphones or speakers now you'll be able to hear it's right in the center when i put this on it kind of brings it round so that it's in each of your ears which i think sounds cool and it sounds more full so anyway after that bass sound um i basically just basically just played the bass in the root notes and then a few flicks and obviously on the automation here you can see that i've got a few like you know when i do stuff like like that so uh yeah this is what it sounds like with the chords the chords are very simple but i think the bass brings it all together along with the drums <laughs> And one of the things that I had a problem with was basically when you listen to that straight off, I don't know if you're going to, you guys are going to think this, but tell me in the comments, when you listen to that straight off, it sounds a bit stupid and a bit annoying because it's just wah everywhere. And like all these, all these flicks like that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you think it's a bit stupid, but after you've listened to it for about three hours straight, like I have, you'll basically get quite used to it and think it sounds quite cool because like all the flicks now after listening to it for three hours i think sound quite cool so um yeah and i think it works kind of well with the kicks you know like i've kind of put the kicks in a place where it doesn't clash like it it helps the bass in certain parts but then won't clash with it in other parts Like on all of these parts, like here, I've obviously got a bass note there and a bass note here. So here, it's where it's where the kicks are. So yeah, obviously, basically, we add back in everything else, and I think it sounds like quite a full beat, actually. I mean, yeah, just let me know what you think.
And if you need to slow it down, you can either just take these out. You take these out and it's lost a bit of an element, but this could be for like a burst section. And then obviously, you know, we've got to... This is what I mean about the uh, symbols as well. This took quite a lot of time to put all these symbols in and basically choose off all my sample cards, which ones I thought would sound good. Uh, but if you take them out, you definitely do notice it. Like if I just had this guy, it would be quite boring. Even without the shaker speeding up, I think it definitely goes well, especially this one, because this is reversed. I really like these trumpets, which I think sounds super cool. Yeah, let me know what you think of the beat. Let me know um, what you think of the bass line, like if it does sound a bit stupid or you're kind of into that kind of cool, wah, G-funk kind of stuff. And I like it how it basically can go so deep without losing any definition, because obviously it's straight off the computer, not like an actual instrument. Um, but yeah. If you enjoyed the beat, then consider liking and subscribing, because why not? I've got more NPC stuff coming. I've probably got some more stuff on Logic coming. I've basically found a lot more samples, so I'm going to be making a lot of beats. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.